Hey guys, I'm so happy you're here. Thank you so much for watching this recording. And today I'm going to talk to you a bit about CrossFit and essential oils. I'm going to go through what are essential oils. Maybe you haven't even heard of them before. I'm going to go through why sourcing, why quality are so important, how to use them safely, how to use them effectively, and how to use them for specific purposes for, for athletes. And also at the end, I'll also show you how to get them into your home. But first of all, I wanna to talk to you about me. I just wanna introduce myself. My name is Anna Bordner. I am a wife, I'm a mother of two, and I've been crossfitting for the last five years. And for about the last three years, I've been using doTERRA's essential oils and knew right away I wanted to jump right into this business because I was just blown away by how effective these oils are and the amazing community and the support that comes with it. It really kind of reminded me of, of being in a CrossFit gym. So a little bit about how I got started. Um, so my older sister is a chiropractor and I kind of grew up with the mindset of let's look at the holistic approach before we do anything else. And from there, I um, graduated college. I actually have a degree, a master's degree in engineering, um, worked for a couple of years, but then I got pregnant with my daughter who's in the yellow. Her name's Harley and really started questioning what I was putting on my body and what was I using for cleaning products. And I really wasn't quite sure what to do. I was eating right, I was exercising. Um, but I was really missing this link between like how to remove toxins from my home and how to take care of myself on a more natural level. And then enter my son, Declan. I got pregnant with Declan four months after my daughter was born, totally planned. And she, he was really the catalyst for figuring out like, okay, well now I have the message. It's loud and clear. What do I need to do? So I attended my first essential oils 101 class and I was just literally blown away by just feeling so empowered of how can I use these essential oils and bring them into my home. I can take better care of myself. I can take better care of my family. I don't feel guilty if I clean something and my kids are around or feel like I'm poisoning them. Um, so I just was so excited to, to have something, just to make sure I'm recording, have something that um, I could use in my home and feel good about. So that's how I got started. So a little bit about um, doTERRA's health pyramid. So in the beginning um, of my CrossFit experience, we worked out a lot, right? And we, I started with the gym when they actually opened their doors to the public, which is really cool. And that was a unique experience in and of itself. But during our first paleo challenge, we were told to do things like keep track of how many hours we sleep, keep track if we are able to go out in the sunshine without any sunblock on and you know, not get sunburned, but make sure we have that, that sun exposure. So it really opened up my mind, not only to eating right and, and exercising, but also is resting and managing stress. And it also was this huge catalyst into thinking about, okay, now that I've done these things, how can I reduce my toxic load and do more about self-care? And also being pregnant, like how can I sleep better? So essential oils were really an extension of what I was doing in the gym. And something I was able to take home with me and continue that process of more of a holistic approach outside of the gym. So I hope that today you guys get some good ideas on, on how to do that for yourself. Before I do that, you guys can pause this if you want, um, since you're watching the recording. Um, what are your top health priorities? So at this point in my class, I usually have people stop and literally write this down. I want to feel less of blank and I want to feel more blank. So some of the top examples I get are I want to feel less fatigued and I want to feel more energy or I want to feel less digestive discomfort and I want to feel more ease in the digestive system or I want to feel less head tension and I want to feel more vitality or um, more rested or I want less skin irritation. So whatever that is to you, maybe take a second, pause this 
and um, come back to me once you once you have those written down. So, and this down here is something I um, wanted to mention. So Think Dirty is an app, it's free, and you can download it to your phone. <clears throat> and what it does is you can literally scan products in your home to um, figure out what the rating is. So this rates using the Environmental Working Group database, it rates products from your skincare, your body wash, your shampoo, conditioner, um, to cleaners and sunscreens, everything in between. And it rates it from a zero to a 10, 10 being bad. And you'll be so surprised what is in your products. And I'm not here to scare you, but this is more, this was so cool for me to, to start digging into. Um, it's also not meant to overwhelm you, so don't go crazy, but it's also for awareness. So it's for you to start being aware of what you're putting, what you're exposing yourself to, what you're exposing you and your family to, and really just having this, this choice that we can make a better choice for ourselves with very simple tools. So what are essential oils? If we were in person doing this, this is where I would pass around a little bottle of wild orange. But what are essential oils? Essential oils are naturally occurring aromatic volatile compounds that are found in the seeds, the bark, the stems, the roots, flowers, and other parts of plants. So in the case of citrus oils, it's actually in the peel. So you know when you get that like beautiful burst of citrus citrusness, is that a word? Um, when you open like an orange, um, that's essential oil. Um, oh, one thing I want to say, and then when, when we distill them, when we take these beautiful um, essential oils, it actually is beneficial to us. So it's the part of the plant that will protect it from environmental threats, that sort of thing. And when we use them for ourselves, we find these amazing benefits, which I'll go through. And then I want to talk about why doTERRA. So there are essential oils everywhere now. We can get them at Walmart. We can get them at Best Buy. We can go on Amazon like I used to and buy the biggest bottle for the cheapest price and expect it to do something. But I am really blown away by doTERRA's methods of testing and sourcing. So I wanted to, to talk through those briefly. They are, so there's a few different grades of essential oils. We have synthetic, and that's like what's gonna be in typical shampoo, conditioner. It's why I can't even walk down the um, cleaning aisles at like Target or Publix anymore. Even my daughter, I was looking for an empty spray bottle, so we walked through a Target aisle yesterday with cleaners, and she goes, why is it so stinky? It's hurting. And sure enough, I'm walking through and get an instant headache. So. Something to think about, are you sensitive to what's going on around you? It's a huge, even a synthetic fragrances and laundry detergent is a huge contributor to things like eczema or skin irritation. So what are you using and is it, is it actually bothering you? Um, and then we get into some food grade essential oils, which are like dressing, you can find in like dressings or um, yogurts, that sort of thing. Um, therapeutic might be some oils, maybe your massage therapist might start playing around with. And then because there are no FDA regulation of essential oils, um, any oil that you see can be labeled 100% pure. But if you actually were to get those oils tested, you'd find out that they're full of fillers or synthetics or contaminants and something that you just don't want on your body. Like the whole reason you're going to essential oils you're just negating it if you find if you're using something that is just filled with synthetics. Um, so DoTerra knew this going in, and they knew that um, they wanted to provide the very best essential oil out there. So they literally had to create a grade of essential oils, and that is called Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade. So you can see that here, and. What does that mean to us? Why is that so important? I thought this was really neat with my, my engineering background. I just loved that they were so thorough. So it means that these oils go through three rounds of testing after distillation, upon receiving, and upon bottling. And then those tests, there's eight different tests for purity, for potency, and consistency done by both in-house and third-party testing. Um, so to me, that, that it was huge. And it shows us that there's no contaminants, no synthetics, no pesticides or fillers. And one of the really cool things that doTERRA is doing that no other company is doing is for every single oil, you can go to 
this website, source2u.com, and literally type in the lot number on your bottle. And I actually don't have one. Um, let's see what oil next to me. I should have thought about that to pull this up and, and show you guys. So um, you can do that on your own. Go to source2u.com, and it's a really beautiful website. You can learn a lot more about where the oils come from and, and how they're tested. Um, their sourcing model. So doTERRA is the largest, the fastest growing essential oil company in the world. They have more than 7 million people who have wholesale accounts. So who knows from there how many homes have essential oils in them. Uh, it's just beautiful. It's so cool to see these people stepping up and really wanting to do better for their health, for themselves and their family. But what that means for doTERRA is they need sustainable essential oils to source, so sustainable sourcing practices. And they call this side compact sourcing. And this ensures that plants are grown in an environment that maximizes the essential oils potential. So think of like native, where these plants are going to be native and where they're going to grow the best. Um, it provides jobs and opportunity where previously there was none. So we, using compact sourcing, we have improved growing and harvesting practices to achieve optimal yield, yield and ensure sustainability. We have a consistent higher quality oil and growers receive fair and predictable pricing from a long-term buyer. So from whereas it used to be when they're selling their oils, they would have, there would be a middleman who would basically just not pay them what their oil was worth and they would be out. Um, so I love that doTERRA has really incorporated this, this, these sourcing practices to empower not only us with these like bottles of essential oil, but people all over the world to create sustainable income, sustainable jobs, and just people are just blessed all over the world. Um, so you can see in this picture, our oils are sourced from over 40 different countries and over two thirds of those are considered developing. So really guys, like their vetiver from Haiti, the um, pedigree from Paraguay, um, frankincense from Somalia, it's really created an opportunity for doTERRA to come in and do beautiful things in those areas. So it really directly relates to doTERRA's Healing Hands Foundation efforts. So doTERRA does things like brings in schools, in medical care, in medical care facilities, sometimes it's clean water, uh, sometimes it's some form of rehab for people in the area. And it's just so beautiful what they're doing. If this interests you, go to doTERRA's um, YouTube page. So YouTube and search doTERRA co-impact sourcing and just watch a few of those videos. It's really heartwarming what they're doing and what they're up to in the world. So this is my husband, by the way. He's pretty cute. Applications and safety. So I'm gonna talk pretty quickly about the three different ways to use oils. We have aromatically. So where I can literally open up the bottle, smell it straight from the bottle. Um, don't laugh at me. I have the kids' whale diffuser next to me on my desk. But this is their little whale diffuser. And you can put, you can put water in here and um, a couple drops of essential oil. And I'm not in there right now. Um, and diffuse it. And when you diffuse essential oils, it can boost your mood. It can soften the mood. It can cleanse the air. So it's really great for mood management, and it's really great for purifying the air. You can use topically. So I love to, I love to dilute a bit of this in some coconut oil. I love doTERRA's fractionated coconut oil because it's just always liquid, and it's so simple to rub in. Uh, so when you're diluting, you're actually, remember how I said these essential oils are volatile? So when you put it on your skin, it can evaporate very quickly. Whereas when you dilute it, it gives that the opportunity to steep in and really do better work for yourself and for your body. Um, so dilution ratio, I'll talk a bit more about this in a minute, but you can dilute about one teaspoon to a tablespoon of carrier oil per drop of essential oil for adults, for children. And for, because of doTERRA's sourcing methods, you can actually use some of these essential oils internally. So for example, um, this is, this is peppermint, and I don't know if you guys, my camera is not the best on my computer, 
you can see the supplement facts on here. Um, so any of them that you can take internally, it'll have the supplement facts and it'll say for internal use, dilute one drop in four fluid ounces of liquid. It also says for aromatic or topical use and you can dilute with carrier oil to minimize sensitivity. So it tells you right on the bottle how to use them. Safety, so it's, we're already kind of talking about safety here. But definitely always follow the label directions of use. And when applying topically to kids, so say they're a newborn or small babies, you want to do a drop in about a tablespoon of carrier oil. Um, or as they get a little bit older, one drop of essential oil in about a teaspoon. And for adults, I always recommend starting with diluting just to start seeing how you're reacting to oils. Um, peppermint's amazing, but it's cooling. So sometimes people don't want the whole cooling effect. Um, so you just want to start with diluting and um, you can go from there. There are also hot oils such as oregano, thyme, cinnamon, cassia, clove, where you don't want to put those on your skin without like majorly diluting about a, a drop in about a, a teaspoon to a tablespoon of carrier oil. There's also photosensitive oils and being based in Florida, I think this is so important to mention because Growing up, I was definitely one to put lemon in my hair and then realized that I was sunburned because it had dripped down my arm. Um, so same thing with citrus essential oils. So our lemon, our grapefruit, um, lemon, grapefruit, wild orange, those oils, we want to make sure, I just personally don't use them topically because I know at some point I'm gonna go out in the sun. So those might be a good one to use on a diffuser necklace or a diffuser bracelet or in your diffuser versus um, topically. And if you do use them topically, make sure you wait 12 hours before you go out in the sun. Don't apply to body entry points and wash your hands very well after. There's nothing worse than applying peppermint and then rubbing your eye. If you do happen to do that, um, just grab your coconut oil. You don't want to use water and just wipe it on out. Less is more. Use frequently and in small amounts and properly store with your cap sealed and away from direct heat. So you don't wanna keep these in your Florida heat car. And how do you, how to know which oil to use? So that's like the main question I get. They're like, okay, great, Anna, this is all fun, but now how do I know what oils to use for what? Because this is overwhelming. So with a book and a box of essential oils, you can transform your health and self-care. This is the front page of the book that comes with all of the, the wholesale memberships with doTERRA. It is so nice, you guys. Every single essential oil is in here, and it teaches you how to use those oils, and it goes through the uses for them. The other cool thing, there are plenty more resources, um, but that's something I go through with you guys on our wellness consult once you receive your oils. So something to look forward to. I do do a, a, a 20 minute welcome call with you guys to teach you a bit more about resources and, and how to use your oils and answer any specific questions you might have. So now to the fun part, CrossFit and oils. So this could really be for not just CrossFitters, but also be for athletes. I don't think I'm just taking away um, how to use these oils for other people who are into sports and other things. Um, overhead's my favorite. So I broke it into pre-workout, post-workout, and well body care. So I'm gonna go through some of the top ways to use these oils for these different um, parts of our workouts. Pre-workout, so peppermint. I absolutely love peppermint, and this is what I do. I'll show you. So I put a drop in my hand and rub my hands together. Close my eyes when I cut my nose because it's very, it's very minty. And just breathe it in. Breathe it in a few times. Then you can rub the rest on the back of your neck. And remember either to wash your hands or don't touch your eyes. Um, and what this does for me is it's invigorating. So it's also one. Um, that's great to like help wake you up in the morning. It's great to do this right before a workout. It's great to do this at the end of a workout when you're feeling fatigued or in that afternoon slump. But it, it invigorates you. It opens up your airways with that minty amazingness. And it also keeps you cool. 
So people love to put peppermint on the back of their necks before a workout. It'll keep you cool, which as you're getting heated, um, hot yoga, love my peppermint in my hot yoga class. It's also great for reducing bloating, gas, occasional ingestion, so any stomach upset. Uh, you can put a drop in the water, it tastes great. You can um, dilute a little bit of it and rub it into your belly. And diffuse when feeling fatigued or low on energy. So it's a really amazing oil. Motivate, so Motivate is one of, gosh, I'm gonna keep saying this, Motivate, all of these oils are some of my favorites, so I guess I can't continue to say that. But Motivate's really a beautiful oil. It has peppermint, clementine, coriander, basil. I don't even know what you use you feel as Melissa, rosemary, and vanilla in it. And it's like exactly what it says here. It's like fresh, clean, it's minty, and sometimes I can smell a bit of basil in it. But think like peppermint, citrus, vanilla. So good. Um, and it is what it what it says it is. It encourages, it encourages us to get going. I actually call it the, my Murph oil. What I like to do with this one is I like to put it in that little soft spot behind my ears, and that just gets me like ready to go. It promotes feelings of confidence, courage, and belief, counteracts negative emotions and doubt, pessimism. What's up, bud? Hold on. My two-year-old needed help, sorry. Um, so motivate, this little soft spot behind your ears and it just really keeps you going and excited to just conquer that workout. Um, it's also great like when you have kids and you just need that extra energy boost. I love this, it's just like someone cheering you on. <laughs> it's a good oil. Uh, breathe, so breathe is one of the first stone hair oils that I use and um, I used it when I was pregnant with my son. So maybe some of you mamas can relate to this, but I literally felt like I was suffocating in my body because um, my belly was so big, my lungs were so squished, and I was still working out, I was still trying to like just make it through the day. I was chasing around my daughter, and breathe essential oil is what would save me. So I actually do have it right here. This is breathe, and it is my face. So what I do with this one, I actually do really like to dilute this one. So I'd put a drop or two of coconut oil in my hand, put a drop or two of breathe, and rub it into my chest. And what that does is just opens us up, opens up our respiratory system big time. So it maintains feelings of clear airways and easy breathing, helps minimize the effects of seasonal threats. And um, so when you need that respiratory support, this is a really good one. Um, but for me, to put it on before a workout with the peppermint and the Motivate, that, those three in a row are, are just such great support. So those are my pre-workout oils. Also, we don't give enough credit, I think, to maintaining calmness and composure. And Breathe is one of those oils that helps me to just relax because when you can breathe better, me have a clearer mind. So even at night, this is really nice to diffuse with lavender for just a really calming aroma. Post workout. We have Malaluca. So Malaluca is tea tree oil. And this is one that this is my guilty when I used to order off Amazon, I would order tea tree oil. So when I tried doTERRA's Malaluca, I was completely blown away with how well it worked. Um, it's in here because it's really great for cleansing of the skin and promoting healthy immune function. So think of this as like skin irritations, if you ever get like flaky feet or that sort of thing. Um, side note, you guys will hear me say things very compliantly, um, no claims and that sort of thing. So <laughs> any, any issues or skin irritations, um, on your feet. This is a really good one to dilute, rub in. Um, I love to use this, just add a drop to your um, moisturizer or your facial cleanser, and it's really good for cleansing the skin, spot treat anything that comes up. Um, 
Also, sometimes I'll use it for, for deodorant. So I'll dilute a little bit in coconut oil. My armpits, is probably TMI, are really sensitive, but I'll dilute a little bit and just use it on my armpits. So you can make a very simple deodorant with just um, uh, arrowroot powder, add a bit of coconut oil to it, just the regular coconut oil, and a few drops of Malaluca, maybe a couple drops of lavender, and you're, you have your deodorant. So simple, so easy, so cheap. So it's also really good for um, your discomfort. So adding a drop or two to a cotton ball, letting it sit in your ears for a few minutes, maybe you were swimming and you came out and your ears were uncomfortable, that sort of thing. So definitely Malaluca is a, is a beautiful one to help with that. Frankincense, so this is another skin. Actually, okay, so this is our king of oils and this is good for so many things. If you don't know what to use, use frankincense. And this is great for um, skin, but it's also really good for supporting healthy cellular function. So a lot of people, a lot of athletes, myself included, not that I'm calling myself a professional athlete, because I'm not, but I'll do a drop under my tongue once a day. And this helps calm any possible inflammation. It helps support healthy cell health. So take a look through the research that's been going on with frankincense lately, and you'll kind of start understanding where I'm going with this. <clears throat> People love to add it to their moisturizer, or to lotion, to reduce the appearance of blemishes, and to rejuvenate skin. So this is an oil that helped um, calm down my stretch marks after the kids were born. I didn't get them until 37 weeks with my second one. So that might be uh, some helpful info for, for some people. Fun little recipe for a clay mask here too. So here is like our Mac Daddy of essential oils for, for athletes, you guys. This is doTERRA's Soothing Blend. <clears throat> and I love this oil. This In this oil, there's wintergreen, camper bark, peppermint, blue tansy. So it's actually a um, bit, bit blue when it comes out. I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, it's a bit blue from the blue tansy and it smells pretty minty and it is really good for soothing sore muscles and those occasional like aches and pains after we work out, after a heavy day of lifting, after we're just on it for a certain amount of time and you know when we walk away we're like oh man I'm hurting. For me it's like after deadlifts and um, like lunges. <laughs> Um, so this is really good to rub on our, our muscles and really just have an invigorating effect and really just helping soothe that, that soreness. I actually love the rub. So it's a lotion. It's in lotion form. Um, this one here is the oil and then you can also get it in a roller bottle or diluted in a touch roller. So there's a bunch of different ways to apply this. I would say my favorite is adding a couple drops of this oil to the rub and then it's like amazing. There's also a way to take it internally. So this oil you can't take internally, but what they did is they reformulated it into a way you can take this internally. So for those more internal aches and pains or when we just feel like we need some help with um, calming some minor um, inflammation, this would be the way to go. So my husband loves these. Um, and Deep Blue is always in his gym bag. He was so excited that I gave him his own Deep Blue rub <laughs> to keep with him. Well body care. So this is gets into the last part, what I wanted to talk about. And so we tend to just think inside the gym, I think. And this is more taking this outside the gym to have a more well-rounded approach to our health care, our self-care. This is the protective blend. This is the blend that you want to use daily for immune support. So I love this oil. I like to add a couple drops to my hand soap. I love the whole On Guard line in general, uh, but it's one we want to be continually exposing ourselves to. So for this one, diffusing it 
every couple days, diffusing it, rubbing it into the bottoms of our feet. Um, when you start to get that throat tickle, that you know that's like a telltale sign of just going downhill from there, you can add a drop of this to like four ounces of water, maybe like a shot glass of water. I gargle it and then swallow it. And it, I do that every couple hours until it goes away. So this is also one that we diffuse in the kids' room at our gym. It's one that we clean with at our gym. It's one I clean with at home. So to clean with this, I would do uh, a glass, always glass spray bottle of half water, half vinegar, and about 10 to 20 drops of, of On Guard. And you have an all-purpose cleaner. And it really cleans. Um, you guys can look up some of the studies they've done with On Guard and cleaning. Really cool. So this is one that if you're a gym owner or know a gym owner, you want them to get in there, start diffusing it, start cleaning with it. Um, and not only is it cleaning and cleansing the air, it's supporting our body's immune systems. So it's really, really a beautiful oil. And they have, um, there's a whole line of on guard products, toothpaste, uh, hand soap, um, laundry detergent, even a hand mist. So, I should have bought a few more things in here as I'm doing this, but there's a little hand sanitizing mist, which is great to use it to like clean your yoga mat, that sort of thing. Um, clean off our carts at the grocery stores, so many things you can do with this. Lavender. Um, the next two I'm going to talk about sleep. <clears throat> While lavender is like our Swiss Army knife of essential oils, it's so good for so many things. It's also great for skin irritation. So adding this to some frankincense and Maluka in a little roller bottle. So doing like 10 drops each in your own little roller bottles. This is what it looks like in case you guys haven't seen this before. And then you literally just rub it on. Um, Top it off with a fractionated coconut oil. It's really great for any, any skin irritations and skin problems. It's beautiful. But lavender itself is also really great for calming. This is the oil of communication and calm. So I love to put this oil on my temples before bed or um, when I feel like I have something I need to say and kind of just holding it in, do it across my throat. So emotionally, these oils have beautiful properties as well. It's also really nice. You can make your own little spray bottle with this with just some water and a couple drops of lavender. Spritz on your pillows, spritz on your bedding, um, massage it into your feet before bed. It's a really great routine to start doing with your children, if you have children, um, to just calm them down for the night. So, and again, I mentioned this, but um, diffusing this with grief at night, so nice and so calming. And it really just helps like shut off all the, all the thoughts that go through your head. The other one I love for sleep is serenity. So serenity is the calming blend. And I love how this describes it here. It creates a perfect escape with its calming, renewing fragrance, promotes relaxation in restful sleeping environment, and diffuse to help promote relaxation and decrease stress. As soon as I smell this, I'm just like, oh, asleep. Um, beautiful beautiful oil so I diffuse this one almost every night and I also take a serenity restful complex almost every night this is one that you cannot take internally so this complex is one that you can take internally um the dosage is to a to a night but I take I take one and there's nothing harmful in this there's nothing addictive in this and I have two, I have three and four year olds, and they still will wake up occasionally in the middle of the night for no reason. Um, and this isn't something where I'm like groggy coming out of it, if that makes sense. In the mornings when I wake up after I take one of these soft gels, often I'll wake up before my alarm clock, just refreshed and ready to go. So these help us get into that like really nice deep sleep and just wake up way more refreshed. So I know for a lot of us who go part of the gym all day long, our lives are busy, and we have kids and husbands and wives and so much is going on, and we really need to like take it back a notch and get some good sleep. So if you struggle with sleep, this um, combo is so nice to have. The last thing I wanted to mention, well a couple last things, I guess there's a couple more slides, is doTERRA's Lifelong Vitality Pack, which is actually one of doTERRA's most popular products. 
And my story, my kids are 14 months apart, and I felt like my body was pretty wrecked after they were born. We weren't planning on having them that close together, but we did and loved them, and it turned out great. But I was, I was done afterwards. I felt so unhealthy, and it was so tough to, um, to not get sick. So I was getting sick every other week. Started incorporating things like On Guard and sleeping better and um, just using essential oils. And I got it down to about once a month. And finally, because I'd heard so many amazing things about these, about lifelong vitality, I decided that I was going to try them. And I honestly have not been completely on my butt sick since I started taking them. So I love these this lifelong vitality pack for me it was a huge game changer um i wrote down some notes on exactly what is in them or what they're about and you guys can look up more details or request more info from me but really this is this helps us with the energy we want and sets the foundation for optimal health so we have our microplex microplex m v z which is our sorry good <laughs> put the words with the letters in the right order. The whole food complex of bioavailable vitamins and minerals that are generally deficit in our modern diets. Then we have Exi Omega, which is an essential oil omega complex that uses essential oils and a blend of marine and land sourced omega fatty acids. Our Alpha CRS is really great for cellular health. So it supports cellular energy and healthy cell function. Read between the lines. And then we have Mito2 Max, which is not part of the Lifelong Vitality Pack, but I thought it was so worth mentioning here, because um, this is that extra, like, even keel energy we need throughout our days and before, a lot before a workout, right? Um, so I've heard athletes speak about taking two Mito2 Max about 45 minutes before a workout to just give them that extra energy that they need, and that really... Um, the reference is supporting mitochondrial function. So it's pretty cool to dig into and learn a bit more about these, about these supplements. Um, so I'm not gonna go into detail of these, but I feel like we, at CrossFit as a community and as a whole, has really gone from doing just the basics of hard workouts and overstressing our bodies to really creating a holistic approach to our physical health and our emotional health. So these oils are in doTERRA's Emotional Aromatherapy Collection, and I love them. I've had a lot of people get started with, um, with this kit specifically because it helps with the emotional side of things. So if that's you, I encourage you to look up doTERRA's Emotional Aromatherapy Kit or pause this and um, read a little bit more about these oils but definitely worth mentioning. <clears throat> so how to get started. Most people begin with a kit. So I put up a few of my favorite kits on here. This is the Emotional Aromatherapy Diffuse Kit on here. This is our Home Essentials Kit, and this is the Family Essentials Kit. And why the kits are so lovely is because uh, there's two ways to purchase. We can do retail, which no one does. I don't ever have anyone order a refill through me because it's a um, higher price than what you can do for wholesale. So it's kind of like a Costco membership where you can either get a kit and that covers the cost of your membership. Basically, your, your membership's free when you do a kit. Or you can pay a $35 wholesale membership and choose oils like a la carte um, based on what it is that you want to do. So <clears throat> so that your $35 goes towards oils versus just your membership. Um, most people do the kit. And my absolute favorite kit is this Home Essentials kit. As you guys can see, hopefully with my lovely camera here, there's two different size bottles. So we have a 15 mil bottle and a 5 mil bottle. 15 mil is about 250 drops. This one's about 85 drops. Um, so we have the exact same oils in the Family Essentials and the Home Essentials kit, but the Home Essentials kit is the big bottle. So you get three times the amount of oil and a diffuser for less than twice the price. So to me, I love the value of this, um, of this kit. 
I also love the value of the Natural Solutions Kit. Um, it's kind of hard to see in this picture, and it's been a bit updated since I put this picture in here. But it comes with some things that are really going to start rounding out what you're using in your home. So your, um, your I think it now comes with shampoo and conditioner, your lifelong vitality pack, your deep sea rub, some things that you're going to start replacing in your home. Um, that has better ratings. So things that you want to get rid of toxins, maybe you're the person who's looked up all the things on your um, Think Dirty app and you really just want to do a, one big scoop and replace a bunch of things at once, that's what the Natural Solutions Kit is amazing for. But with any starter kit, you guys, I, you get an email from me with a bunch of e-goodies, e-books. You know, um, I mentioned these before, but we do a 20 to 30 minute one-on-one -on -one welcome call, talk through any questions, more resources. You get support via our Essential Oils Facebook group. You get a little welcome gift mailed from me and have lifetime access to a guided cleanse and ebook. And you also get 25 to 55% off retail prices, which I'll mention briefly in a moment. So if you guys choose to do a wholesale membership, it, um, it gets you a 25% discount, which is really, really awesome. And then if you choose to renew it after a year, it's $25, but they send you a big bottle of peppermint, which retails $27. So essentially you're never paying for your wholesale membership again, which is amazing. Um, so in order to do that, you're going to create your own account. You can go to mydoterra.com slash Anna Evelyn B and click join and save and it walks you through the process on, on how to do that. Just enter in your info, choose your kit or your oils, and you're good to go. Um, loyalty rewards program, this is something we talk through more in our welcome call, but it's a totally optional monthly auto ship of your choice of doTERRA products. It's like a subscription box, but way better because you're getting your health and your wellness product shipped straight to your door. So like I mentioned, um, I do things like laundry detergent, my soap, my body wash, my face wash, um, all my supplements. I am purchasing that now, my toothpaste, all, all of this, my, the kids' products. I'm purchasing all of this through doTERRA now. And because I'm purchasing it through them, I am getting, now after a year, I'm getting 30% back. So how like Costco will have rewards programs, this is way better. Anytime you spend over $50 in, um, each, anytime you spend over $50, you start earning a percentage back. So the first few months you're earning 10% and 15, and then after a year you're earning 30% back. So now for every like 100 I'm spending, I'm getting 30 back that I can cash in for free oils. So this is how I get my oils for free. Really awesome, really cool, and I um, hope you guys look into this a bit more. Um, so I work with typically three different kinds of people. I love to, and whichever one is you, is totally fine. I love and support all of you. Um, I work with a lot of people who just want to use essential oils in their lives. They're so excited about the benefits of them, probably excited to get some oils for free with the loyalty rewards program and they just want to be very supported in their life for them and their family um, and I have tons of support for you. If you are listening to this and you are thinking oh man my aunt or my friend or whatever my CrossFit coach could use some of these oils uh, reach out to me. I would love to help you get them some samples or help you host a class and start helping you get your oils paid for. Um, or if you're listening to this and you're like, oh man, this sounds amazing, I wanna do this. I feel like this business would be right for me. Uh, I wanna serve more, I want to do more, and this sounds awesome, sign me up. Um, if that's you and you're interested in building a business, totally reach out to me and we can set up a time to chat about that. So if you're interested in hosting a class, I usually do a gift for hosting. Um, I know this is on a webinar, so we can totally work something out as far as um, doing a webinar for your friends and your family too, or if you're local uh, here in Florida, 
that works too. We do in-person classes as well. So again, thank you so much for joining in and just a few places you can find me on Instagram at Anna Bordner, facebook.com slash Anna E. Bordner on the web, AnnaBordner.com. Keep it simple for you guys. <laughs> and this is a recent picture of me and my fam on Mother's Day. But feel free to reach out if you guys have any questions. And thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I'm going to put my email on here too. Gmail.com is how you can reach me um, with any questions. All right, you guys. Have a beautiful rest of your day. <laughs>